So one of the big differences between wheelchair and able-bodied basketball, a lot of people ask, is the dribbling rule. So in able-bodied basketball, you have to be constantly dribbling, and once you pick it up, then you're stuck unless you pass the ball or it gets knocked away from you. Uh, wheelchair is a little bit different, obviously, because your hands are usually trying to push in a certain way. Um, when you have the ball in your hands, every two pushes you take, you have to dribble the ball at least once, and then it resets. So as our players get better, they're able to kind of push as they're dribbling, one hand off back and forth. Um, but especially a lot of our new players have to learn those uh, dynamics and rules of either spin dribbles or different ways. But that's probably the big main difference. A lot of the other things are the same. Um, a lot of the fouls, two point, three point, uh, when we play varsity, the level of the hoop, size of the ball, um, most of that stuff is pretty similar. Normal season, we usually play about six to seven tournaments. Our season starts uh, early in the fall in September. We just start playing tournaments in October, November, and go through usually March, sometimes into April, ending with our national tournament. So every tournament we play, we have to travel for. Um, we're the only team in the Indianapolis area that plays wheelchair. So in order for us to play in competitions, we're basically like kind of an AAU travel team and we go all over the Midwest and sometimes even farther. Uh, for example, this year we're going to Iowa, Atlanta, and the Nationals in Omaha, Nebraska. Hi, I'm Paul Irway with Superior Van Mobility. And my position here at Superior Van is a rehab products consultant. One of the products is a game changer I want to show you today. Let's go on inside. And what I wanted to show you today is the Chevy Traverse with the broad ability conversion to it. With three taps of the remote, the door opens by power, slides open. The ramp is going to slide out from underneath the vehicle to give you a wider ride with driving this vehicle. This ramp has a thousand pound weight capacity. It's wider than the Ford Explorer was. This vehicle is going to be a game changer. As the full size vans went to minivans, minivans are more people are going to go with an SUV now. As a wheelchair user, I want to show you this is very easy to use to roll up into the vehicle. And then as you can see, the room that I have, the headroom, the turning radius inside the vehicle, and then if you want to ride in your chair, you, there's plenty of room to ride up here. And then you also have the securement systems and the straps come up to your chair. But if you want to be a driver, we have applications for driver as well. Should you have any questions at all about this product or any other products that we have, feel free to give us a call. We'll be glad to bring any of the vehicles out to do an in-driveway demonstration. Go to superiorvan.com.